coming in February to Frontline. In 2006, a federal law was supposed to shut down illegal online sports betting. The same law excluded fantasy sports. Fantasy sports players don't consider themselves gamblers. The sponsors decided it would be easier to enact the law if they did not prohibit fantasy sports. Ten years later, week, fantasy football leagues are paying $75 million a week with immediate. Daily Fantasy Sports is a multi-billion dollar business. The number of fantasy sports players is up 40% from last Just year. Just pick your sport, pick your players, and pick up your cash. The fantasy business has shown no sign of slowing down. And sports betting is as strong as ever, offshore and even here. We found more than 100 gambling sites that apparently the federal agents didn't know about. One of the most lucrative rackets is syndicated sports betting. Second only to narcotics trafficking as a source of revenue for the mob. Hey, hey, yo, whoa, whoa, he's taking our picture. Law enforcement is trying to crack down. We just sat in the middle of Manhattan, made an online bet with a company in Panama. Nobody knows exactly where the actual servers physically are located. But certainly there is an operation somewhere. And now some states are questioning whether daily fantasy sports should be considered gambling as well. The core of what we do is about making sports more exciting. The role that money plays, if you ask anybody, is that it provides a certain tangibility to the experience that you don't have as if it's simply free to enter. So you don't view what you do here at FanDuel as gambling? No. The casinos have to live by certain rules. Oh, yes. They have to have regulators yep poking their noses into their affairs, and daily fantasy sports doesn't have to undergo any of that. Nope. This February, Frontline and New York Times reporters Walt Bogdanich and James Glanz investigate. The argument is fantasy sports is much more skill-based, and if it's skill-based, then it's really not gambling. The Achilles heel for the industry is clearly problem gambling. That's the dark side of gambling, the real life adverse consequences that befall people who are unsuccessful at it or do it way too much. The promise of winning big. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars doing this over the past almost two years now. And the reality of losing. It starts off fairly innocuous and you just ask friends for to borrow a couple hundred dollars here, thousand dollars there. How much money did you lose? Close to twenty thousand dollars. When they say this year they're paying out over $200 million. They leave out what they're taking in, and they don't say that they're gonna be more losers than there are winners. The Fantasy Sports Gamble. In 2006, the United States Congress carved out a piece of legislation that says fantasy sports is not gambling. I didn't make that decision, they did. Watch online or on air beginning February 9th.